Hey guys, um, we got a requested video to show uh, my collection of older slash fixed blades, and um, well, actually a particular one, but I figured to just show them all. <clears throat> and then if anybody wants to see a certain one in greater detail, just let me know. All right. Well, first of all, I know this isn't a uh, folder per se or a fixed blade, but I picked up a new or a different butterfly knife from my neighbor actually and uh, it looks a lot like the 42 it isn't the 42 obviously it has the same kind of skeletonized design handles and um, all that and it, and it's got, it's, it has that weird like brass inlay I have no idea if this is a rare knife or what but it's pretty nice I think um, it still locks up tight open and closed and uh, kind of unique. So it's kind of short. Um, it's not the longest knife in the whole world. Um, 42 here for comparison. Uh, it's, not, it's not the biggest thing, but I mean, it, it, you can see it, it does look a lot like 42 in the handle um, style. That's why I picked it up. Actually, my neighbor had it, and I traded him for another one of my butterfly knives, and this is what I got. So obviously the handles are shorter than the 42 and the blade, and it's a little bit wider. It's nice. I like it. Um, it says on the blade here, Hornet 2. I don't know if you can see that. There's Hornet 2 on the blade. And um, down below here, it says Fury, or I think so, F-U-R-Y. And then there's a barcode. I don't know if you can see that, or some sort of code. 10293. Don't know what that means, um, but... It is what it is, I guess. It's kind, of, it's kind of neat. It's kind of, I think it's an older butterfly knife, and I did some research on it. I couldn't find it anywhere, but it's got kind of those hidden um, pins, and it's kind of it's a neat knife. So there's that. Anybody's got any information on that? Please let me know. Um, next up, I've got a neck knife here. Uh, I picked this up probably six years ago. It was the old. Um, and uh, still in pretty decent shape. It's a uh, Smith and Wesson HRT. Little, it's not a very big knife. It's just you know something to put on the belt and uh, carry on for self-defense or just for fun. Um, I like it. It's it's, just, it's a unique thing. Um, it's really small. You know, that's the cool thing. Real nice and concealable. Um, yeah, so there's that. And on the back here it says the performance, something or other, I don't know. Uh, but hey, it's cool. And there's that. Um, next up, I have my Gerber folder. Um, just, you know. 30 buck knife I picked up at Cabela's <clears throat> a couple years back, partially serrated. Um, I really like the black coating on here, and then the uh, I like the blade design. And it's overall a cool carry on knife. So there's that. Um, showed this in my Tanto um, folder, um, kind of flipping around video. Um, picked this up at a yard sale the other day. No idea what this is worth or anything. It's, it's, uh, it says Frost Cutlery on the right here, and um, it's it's pretty nice overall. I mean, picked it up for about five bucks at yard sale, and uh, you know, it works pretty nice. Um, so a decent edge on that puppy. I really like the Tanta style blade. I really want to get a 47 butterfly knife uh, or Benchmade model 47. But I can't find one so far. But I love I love the Hanto um, type blade. So there's that. Um, next up, it's kind of a crappy folder. You know, not not nothing spectacular. Just kind of a little get around, beat up knife. Um, says Eddie Bauer stainless titanium. You know, China I got. So it's all right. Nice one to you know do all my you know dirty dirty cutting tasks you know or 
you know, a knife I want to wear out. Um, this is actually one of the very first knives that I ever owned. I tra I uh, traded this for like a toy or something back when I was, you know, 10 or 11. <clears throat> and uh, I had no idea, you know, what it really is. It does an American flag of an eagle, you know, kind of a mess of blade now from all the times I tried to sharpen it and I a little. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of unique, kind of a cool um, memory knife, you know. I, I doubt it's worth any money or anything, but, you know, nice. It's a unique design. Um, this is a uh, <coughs> skinny knife that I uh, have had for a long time. It's also one of my first knives. I had this um, probably eight years ago. Eight, you know, so I was 10 again. Um, you know, this is kind of a unique knife again. I really like it. It's not very sharp. I mean, I back when I was learning how to sharpen, I didn't know how to do it properly. <laughs> um, I like the handle on there. It's kind of a fake wood design. Um, <clears throat> next up, this is also was featured in one of my uh, recent videos. It was a uh, fixed blade flipping and stuff. Um, the Winchester um, hook knife, you know, hook or whatever knife. A um, uh, gut knife, that's what it is. And, uh, and I've had this thing forever too. I had this probably the same amount of time I had the other ones, 10 years or so. And this one still has a decent edge on it. Um, nice and sharp. I sharpened a lot. Um, I really like the wood inlay handles here. And I mean, this really feels good in the hand. It's fun to flip around and stuff. And obviously, from the video I made. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you got Winchester there. If you can see that or not. Um, and uh, still got the original sheets and stuff with it. And uh, that's that. And probably one of my favorite carry knives is my Carabit. Um, all uh, handled out. And uh, man, I love this thing. I carry this thing everywhere. It's, I mean, it's such a unique design. And uh, it's cool looking and, and it's got deadly sharp um, tip there. Decent edge. Um, Try to read this. Uh, made in the USA, uh, so it's good quality. Got a really good pocket clip here. I mean, nice and tight still. Yeah, I've had this one for about five or six years. Um, trying to see, I don't know, something. It always mumbo jumbo right on the side, but I have no idea what blade steel or anything. Um, but I really like this knife. I mean, it still locks up really tight. I mean. There's no blade play whatsoever here. I mean, what the, there's not, no blade play. I love it. Um, it's just, it's fun to flip around like every other thing I do. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, the pocket clip's still nice, so I carry this one around with me a lot. Probably almost everywhere I go. Um, I don't have my 42 on me. Um, let's see. And last, but not least, is, uh, a little bit bigger. Now, oh, actually, this isn't the last one. One of the last ones. Um, this is my, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a crappy, um, hatchet, basically. It's kind of a, you know, it was like 10 bucks at a knockoff store, and, uh, I've only, I've only ever, really ever only used this for display in my room. Um, scare some kids away, <laughs> and to, uh, just have and chop up wood and stuff. But it's kind of a wicked design. I mean, it's not sharp at all on the back side. But, you know, that's that's kind of weird looking. So this side's got a little edge on it. It's a good edge. Kind of these little wood inlay, fake wood, I think, inlay handles. I mean, they don't really do much. I mean, they're kind of wobbly. But it's nice. I mean, it's something cool to have, right? Um, put this over here. Okay. Uh, and lastly, I forgot all about this. I got my... My machete here. I had this for a couple months now. Um, picked it up at a hardware type store and uh, sharpened it up. And yeah, this thing, this thing shaves hair off my arm. I love it. It's uh, really fun to chop stuff with and throw around. And it seems to me, yeah, it's got a good edge on it still. 
it, it's kind of the, you know, the wobbly, bendy steel. See if I can make it bend. But, uh, yeah. Um, so there's that. And, oh, and I put some, took a, uh, hand grinder and the back of it put some serrations back there. I don't know if you can see that or not. The little mini serrations kind of give it an edge look. I mean, it was like 30 bucks or something like that. So it's not a big investment. It's a little it, itty bitty serrations back there. You know, just, you know, who knows? <laughs> Maybe it'll come in handy. Maybe it's just for luck. You know, so it's fun. So anyway, anyways, guys, uh, if you want to see any of these up close or, um, got any comments or anything, just put them on down there and, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.